What's up, Razmanites? Originally today, if you watch the debut episode of the Razman Recommends Awesome YouTubers, you know that this video was supposed to be the entry into Geeked Out Sims Blu-ray giveaway. But I realized that I needed more time to think about the answer to his question. So instead, I'm going to switch up the schedule and I'm doing when the one that was scheduled for Wednesday now, today, and moving his back to Wednesday. So today, I'm entering my buddy Scott, Chill Pilgrim 1138's contest on the Razman's Reality. giving away the Quentin Tarantino Blu-ray box set and seeing as how Tarantino is my third favorite director of all time I obviously had to enter this one because I only have two of his films on Blu-ray so there will only be two of the films that would be double dipped for me and if I'm lucky enough to win I can just find a way later on to give away the two that I have on Blu-ray Assuming that the person that gifted them to me would not mind that I do so and I'd have to talk to him about it. But, anyway, favorite Tarantino work. Well, for years, it was the one that started it all. Pulp Fiction. This is just a masterpiece on every level and one of those films that you never get tired of and you're constantly quoting all the time. So for years this has always been my answer to my favorite Tarantino film. But now after seeing Django Unchained my answer truthfully has to be Django Unchained. Django Unchained has everything that pulp fiction has in it but it also has humor that is more of a humorous thing because it's not trying to be humorous. Django Unchained takes itself seriously throughout the entire film and in the moments that you laugh, you're laughing because you're invested in the character and what the character's feeling in the moment, not because the director was intentionally trying to make you laugh. And this is a film in Django and Jane that has so many different elements to so many different types of film in it. And like I said in my review, you're sitting there for two hours and 45 minutes and you don't feel like you're sitting there for two hours and 45 minutes. Yes, the film is slow, but that's Tarantino's trademark. He has three acts to his films. He has act one, Act 2 and Act 3, and the slow build is what makes his films pay off. So, yeah, there you go, Scott. That's my answer. Django and Chain, followed very, very closely by Pop Fiction. Make sure you all check out the contest entry video, which will be a link down below in case you see this entry before Scott attaches it if you want to enter yourself. And don't forget to check out the official sponsors of this program and channel, Indie Enterprises Inc., your productivity and communication specialist. All company contact information is down below in the description box. Remember that if you like, subscribe, or follow any of their social media, you help me earn a $200 bonus, which would be greatly appreciated. 
so make sure you check them out if you're interested in becoming a full YouTube partner yourself you can click my full screen referral link and try to get in and I will receive a kickback should you be accepted and as always this is reality according to the Razman and Razman style it's not just a catchphrase but a way of life